Alrighty then, today is 12th of April 2024. Let's begin. Today is day 59 of monk mode. Omer 59 days, bioenergetic prayer 59 days, bioenergetics instead of coffee 56 days, no chunk food at all 59 days, and cold a shower 51 days. Yeah. Alrighty then, let's begin. Now that those are out of the way, I will start speaking. <clears throat> so yeah, In my last video I spoke about how, well, 2020, 2020 was interesting time for me. Our relationship, well, it was toxic for a long time. It was toxic from the beginning, since we actually went to that Temptation Island. The reason why we actually went there was that I was um, trying to find out if I could trust my ex. Because there were some incidents before us going there where the trust was broken and the whole reason for going there to that Temptation Island, which was, well, it was what it was. You know what it is, but yeah. <clears throat> but yeah. So, <clears throat> we, we went there and the trip didn't do much good. It actually destroyed more things than it fixed. It destroyed so many things. Because the trust issues that were there <laughs> didn't really go away to the trip. The trust issues just magnified. <laughs> yeah, and it was stupid. Extremely stupid. But you do stupid things when you're in love. But anyways, let's go to 2020. So yeah. Uh, when the scamdemic started, I posted a video that I found. Or, well, video. Actually, a site that I found. Event 201. As I've been conspiracy guy for ever since looking into the 9-11 and what happened with it and what's behind it and then going into more rabbit holes and deeper into things uh, I actually didn't want to be part of this world anymore after finding out how much evil there is in this world so I did is I, I wanted a new start without all the evil in this world. So I went to a world where people would actually fight against evil big time called World of Warcraft. And that's my that's where I actually lived mostly. This this person that I'm here was for playing the game. And I'm not sure how how clear it was, was it actually four years, was it actually five years, but it's extremely hazy that time from 2006, maybe actually 2005, maybe actually 2010. But anyways, I will, my tomorrow's video will be about those, about that time and what made me pull through that. But yeah, let's go to 2020 now. So yeah, 2020 rolled. And the scandal started. People started being afraid of what's going on. I told everyone that you should look into this. It seems planned. And that's how it felt. Everything was just, everyone was going with the same narrative. All around the world. It was crazy. That 2020 time, it was so crazy. So, so crazy. People were panicking, cities were empty. I'm not sure if you remember that time, but it was just... It was nightmares. It felt like a zombie apocalypse or something like that. 
Acapalypse, yeah. That's my English skills. Struggling on Acapalypse word. <clears throat> but yeah. But yeah, it felt like uh, I was the empty cities and whatnot. I've been watching The Walking Dead for a pretty long time. And maybe actually, The Walking Dead was actually in a way, well, it was big series. So could that actually affect people while they were so afraid that they feared that a zombie apocalypse would happen? because it was predictive programmed in the to Walking Dead, maybe. But people were in panic mode. People were buying toilet paper in a bunch. The stores were emptied of food and whatnot. And at that time, my ex was pregnant with our first child. <clears throat> and, well, as I was Posting about the, the, how it all seems planned, I was still having a lot of escapisms and I was having bad lifestyle. Even though I was working out, I was still binging on video games, porn, junk food, Netflix, whatnot. All that kind of degenerate stuff. And lack of sleep. Lack of sleep was the worst. Um, I've had lack of sleep for so long I cannot even remember when I had good sleep usually during the weekends but during the work days back then is when I would stay up late playing video games watching porn whatnot and then go to work with probably around three or four hours a night of sleep and when you're not sleeping enough your immune system isn't functioning properly and that's when I got the flu flu from this one work site that I was working on there were many positive PCR tests actually of that place so at the time I knew that PCR tests were false positives but I did what I didn't know is that well I, I failed it actually I probably should have never gone to the PCR test. That was stupid. Because before going to PCR test, I had regular flu symptoms. And the reason why I went to the PCR test was because um, the government said that you cannot attend to your children's birth unless you test negative. But what I didn't know at that, to that time is that the threshold cycle had been up so much that there were so many false positives and whatnot. But something weird happened when I got the PCR test. They didn't take it from my nose, they took it from my throat. And the PCR test was so extremely violent, the guy was like <laughs> shoving that thing through my, in my throat. Uh, it was extremely painful. But the thing is, before going to that PCR test, I had regular flu symptoms. But after going to that PCR test, I had all the symptoms of what were related to that, that new flu. Mm, for example, shortness of breath, headaches which wouldn't go away. I lost my sense of smell. All those happened after I went to take the PCR test. So it feels like, well, being the conspiracy guy that I am, it feels like they, well, if the feeling changes from my body, from having regular flu symptoms and then taking that test and then having the symptoms which I've never ever felt before, I think it's fairly obvious that something happened there with the test. What I'm thinking is, did they actually plant the so-called thing to people with those PCR tests? Because that's how it felt for me. After going to the PCR test, my symptoms got much, much worse. And I was... 
not able to attend my daughter's birthing before because of that. So, but I attended uh, it through a live, like in live video, where my ex-girlfriend was in the hospital. She was guaranteed as well because she also had positive PCR test. I couldn't be there because I had positive PCR test. Well, I had symptoms, which were, were at that time. If you had symptoms, you couldn't go there. So yeah, my ex had to give birth to my daughter completely alone, guaranteed in isolation, pretty much. There was only one nurse going around pretty unregularly. But yeah, <clears throat> we I was actually able to attend uh, the birthing of my daughter through a video call that my ex put up. And as she was pushing, I was shouting, push, 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 even though it was, I think that my, yeah, my daughter was born in half hour before midnight. So I was shouting in our apartment, middle of the night, push, 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 trying to send, send her energy to push through that. And it was great to be able to attend in that way to the birthing of my daughter. I wish I would have been there in person, but it is what it is. And the best moment, one of the best moments in my life, if not the best, is when I held my daughter first time in my arms, looked into her eyes. It felt so, so great. So, so great. But yeah, I was, at that time, I was still struggling with, especially after I got guaranteed, that's when it got worse. I watched a lot of porn, ate a lot of shit, watched a lot, played a lot of video games, but I was sleeping good. But the thing is, if you're doing, if you're eating a lot of shit, your immune system is, well, it's pretty fucked up. And if you're binging on porn, wasting your seed away, your immune system is pretty fucked up as well. And if you're staying up late, your immune system is pretty fucked up. So, as I was trying to... I'm not sure what I was doing. I was just binging on shit and escaping and it was just bad. It all pretty much changed when I took part of... Elliot Hulse's King, King Transformation back in 2020. I actually, before making this video, I actually made a made a day 59 post to the King for Life group that I'm in. So, if you're over there, if you're from over there, you will know what I'm talking about, but I made a lengthy post, lengthy post, because the thoughts were just streaming, <laughs> but yeah, in 2020, King Transformation, I joined it first place, I actually had a plan on joining it the first time in 2019, but I couldn't get my money set up straight, but in June 9th, I took action. I took action and I started being part of that program. It was great, great program. I made a, but I didn't go 100% on it. I went half ass or I got half ass results. And now, now I'm back there. Since Ash Wednesday, I'm back in King for Life program. And now I'm giving this 100% and I'm getting the 100% results. You are getting the results of what you're putting into. If you're not getting good results, you're not putting enough work in it. That's how it is. If you're slap dicking around, getting, no, getting nowhere, 
That's because you're slap clicking around. If you're doing things half-assed and getting half-assed results, you're half-assing things, so you're gonna get half-assed results. It's that clear and simple. But if you give something 100% and give it all, give it all you got, then you're on the right path. Then you're on a path. And if you give that 100% daily, it's not just giving 100%, yeah, I'm giving 100% today, but tomorrow I'm giving 50%. It's just commit to something and give it 100%. Completely 100%. Full steam ahead. <clears throat> That's what I'm doing. And I'm, I'm trying to inspire you to do the same. Because I know how it's to be a slap dick. I know how it's to struggle with a problem for eight years, not being able to fix it. And that's why I'm making these videos. I'm trying to help you. Help you be the best version of yourself. The strongest version of yourself. Because when there's enough strong men in this world, that's when all this bullshit ends. Because strong men say no, and they mean it. And in 2020, <laughs> I said no, Guadalajara. I, I rebelled so much. I took part of those. Those demonstrations were, which were in Finland. It was a great time. I really miss those times. It was great seeing all those people standing together against the tyranny. I miss those times so much, so, so much. But yeah, <clears throat> I will probably at some point make a video of the whole 2020 to 23. There's been a lot of things happening from there. And I've been keeping it pretty much bottled up inside. Well, not so much in the King Transformation group. I've been pretty much sharing it all. Sharing it all. Just purging my past. To focus on the bright future that's in front of me. And in order to focus on the bright future in front of you, you need to let go of the baggage of the past. Let it go completely, just completely purge it out and focus on the future. <clears throat> and that's what I'm doing with these videos actually. I'm purging out my past so I can focus on future. I'm building my future each, each, each with each video. And yeah, <clears throat> funny actually how, I'm not sure if I said this already, but funny how this whole thing seems like a big divine guidance like really huge divine guidance my the whole ash wednesdays when i got back to that king for life group i got back there and uh, i've been back on track ever since then ever since then and on ash wednesday actually my old relationship that, that was pretty toxic let's say it's was pretty toxic. I was not able to be myself fully. When we, we had a lot of arguments, a lot of fights. She would throw a fit over the things I would say because she didn't understand where I was coming from and it, she didn't even want to understand. And we actually disagreed on the whole the jabbing thing and there were fights over that I didn't want her to get jabbed and I'm not sure to this day, did she get jabbed or not? She says that she didn't, but I'm not sure. <sighs> but she actually went to a blood transfer, transfusion in 2023. And uh, something changed with her after that. Something changed. I'm not sure what, but I'm not. I don't think the blood that she got was 
unchapped. Yeah. It's pretty sad that so many people were lied about the safe and effective. How safe and effective is it really? Are you seeing how safe and effective is it? It is now. All this died suddenly. Doctors are baffled. We don't know what's going on. Stop lying. You know exactly what's going on. It's not safe. It's effective. It's doing what it's supposed to do. And it's so sickening. It's so, so sickening. It hurts my heart actually to think about the sickening of how evil someone has to be to tell a lie of that magnitude. To, to, to lie to so many people. Yeah, it's safe and effective. Just trust us. Yeah, we have so good track records. You can trust us completely. We have never lied before. Yeah, sure. What about the couple billion of lawsuits? Never lied before. Trust us. We are trustworthy. Oh, fuck not. You're not trustworthy at all. I don't trust you. I will never ever trust modern medicine again. The whole pandemic uh, destroyed the remainings of what I have to modern medicine and mainstream media if I had any in the first place. But that all, all went down to the train just completely down to the train because it's just that simple follow the money you'll find out the same company behind pretty much everything and that's a coincidence yeah sure 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 bro it's a coincidence yeah but It's not too good to actually just focus on the evil of this world. It's good to know of it. It's good to know of it. When you know of it, it's transform. It's transformational. Because you're not blindly believing everything that's in the news. You're gonna look at that like, hmm, what's that agenda that you're gonna try to play here? Hmm, what is going on here? And what is most important thing is becoming the strongest version of yourself. Because this world wants to make you weak. Wants to make you afraid, weak, fragile. And the best rebellion against that is to become strong. Be strong in money, be strong in body, mind and soul. And never, ever Sell your soul. I'm willing to suffer. I don't mind suffering. But my soul feels like it's doing its thing. I'm doing my soul mission. This is my calling. To make a world better place than it was before my existence existence in this body and I want you to actually actually do the same that way this world can someday be a much better place when enough people are working on becoming the strongest version of themselves lifting others up it creates an endless cycle of goodness and strength Strength is a counter to weakness. This world is weak, it's trying to make you weak. Your greatest rebellion is to be strong. Stand strongly and proudly, not proudly. Stand strong, have honor, courage and strength. That's important. That's actually quite something I learned from World of Warcraft. People are actually... Well, there's Alliance and Horde and pretty much everyone knows what World of Warcraft is. But for those who don't know, is there's these two factions, they're warring up against each other. Each have a different motives and different values and whatnot. 
but what is common among both both factions is that they are strong they are strong they are fighting against evil and that's my vision for future strong people strong men strong men fighting against the evil of this world standing up if you see something falls going on if you see something bad going on stand up stand your ground be strong say it you have no other option you can either be silent and think yeah, i could have said something i could have said something i could have done something but i didn't do because i was afraid of this and that and that and that excuses that you make to yourself have no fears be full of you be 100 percent authentic you That's when this shit changes. When people start speaking about injustices of this world, be the strongest of the strongest version of themselves and pushing others to be the strongest version of themselves. That's when this bullshit ends. That's when my kids over there sleeping can have a better future than this. What those Parasites of this world have planned for us. Great reset and whatnot. Fuck that. Fuck the great reset. Fuck it all. Great awakening is happening. And there's nothing you can do to stop it. It's already begun. It began in 2020 when people started waking up to the scandemic. When you find out that that was a lie. Figure out what else was a lie. Figure out, for example, are they even telling the truth of this world? Are they? What are the proofs of this world? That it's a globe. It's a spinning globe. It spins around 666 miles. Get it? Whose numbers are those? Oh yeah. What's the biggest lie of them all? Are you living on a spinning globe? Shh. Do you feel it? Do you feel the movement? Can you experience it? Can you prove it? No, no, none of those. Nothing. But what you can see is nothing moves on the land. The ground doesn't move. But things in the sky, oh, sun goes around, stars go around, moon goes around. And there seems to be something on top of the sky that they cannot get through. Even though they tried so many times, so, so many times, rockets go, they hit it and boom. And that's what it is. <coughs> oh shit. It actually says in the Bible, the first, the Genesis. Actually, I have a picture on my phone. <laughs> the Genesis. This is what it is. But Eric Dubay is doing really great work. I really... I, that guy is really just... He opened my eyes to the globe. Lie. And many others. He's the one of the front... Front men of this... But yeah, the firmament. And these are two quotes from the Bible. I find it difficult that people who are considering themselves as Christians, but they don't see this. And God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. And so it was so. It's a globe. We are protected from the space. Uh, yeah, sure, bro, sure, sure. And God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and lesser, lesser light to rule the night, and he made the stars also. And God set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. Oh, yeah, they are in space. That's how it is. That's exactly how it is. 
That's our beautiful road. God's firmament that we live under. There's nothing. You cannot go up there. There's nothing up there. Well, there's something, something, but you cannot get there. There is something impenetrable over on top of this guy. And then there's that. What if the other space is the areas beyond the only thing that all the countries of this world agree upon, even though they're warring against each other? That yeah, we should protect that one place. Even though all over the world they're fighting each other, wars, what not, destruction. But there's one thing that they agree upon. Antarctica. Yeah, it must be protected. We cannot let the penguins suffer. The penguins. Think of the penguins. I mean, come on, come the fuck on. Really now? Believing into that. But, yeah. It is what it is, but yeah, the thing is, that's actually the biggest lie of them all. The globe, the global globe, yeah. But yeah, I know this video will probably be either deleted or, or, or blacklisted. Shadow band for sure, because the things that I'm saying on this video are <laughs> pretty controversial. YouTube doesn't like this kind of things, so if this video gets delayed, it doesn't surprise me. But if it doesn't, it's great. It's great. I can admit that I'm wrong. There's nothing wrong about that. I want actually people to prove. That I'm wrong. I would love nothing more than to know that everything that I think is true is wrong. Prove it to me. Prove it to me. Show me a show me a proof of a globe. Show me. Just one. And not a computer computer generated imaginary. Actual proof, you won't find one. But what you can find is 200 proofs that Earth is not a spinning globe by Eric Dubay. That's a great video that I highly recommend everyone to watch. Everyone. Or how everything works on flat Earth. Or level. That movie is really great. It's really great because it's made in such an entertaining way that the People who have an attention span of a goldfish can actually understand what's going on. And that's that's the modern day with uh, TikTok, and YouTube Shorts, Reels, whatnot. There, it's shortening your attention span. Those short videos. That's what they're doing to your mind. So you're not unable to focus on, for example, reading a book. How many people do you know that read a book? A real good book, a greatest book, one of the greatest book that I know is, well, Bible is a great book, but um, for example, King Warrior, Lover, Magician, Rediscovering the Archetypes of the Major Masculine by Robert Moore. How many people have read that? Or Way of the Superior Man, or Power of Now, or Power of Your Subconscious Mind, or Elliot Hulse's King book, that's a really great book, it's a really, really great book. Or Make Men Strong Again, Elliot Hulse is another great book. I have it as audiobook. But yeah, many people don't read, that's the problem. Uh, or if they read, they read some bullshit news of a newspaper. Like, yeah, war and destruction, fear, fear, this, fear, that, fear, that, fear, 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 fear. What you will find from mainstream media is nothing but fear. You're being shown, be afraid of this, be afraid of this. Watch out the pandemic! Watch out the wars! It could happen to you if you have these symptoms. Be afraid. Be very, very, very afraid. And the reason why they want to make you afraid is because when you're afraid, your 
vibration that you send out the world is lower. The fear is the lowest vibration of this world. What is the best? What is the highest? Love. Love from your heart out to the world. Yeah, but then again, the conspiracy stuff can also be fear mongering. But when you, but what is what is most important thing is, don't get too deep into that. I know if you get too deep into that, it can depress you. It can make you afraid of the world. It can make you want not to be part of this world when you understand how evil it is. But that's transformative. When you understand how you're being lied to, you will no longer believe the lies that they tell you. You will start to seek your own truth which resonates within you and you will start to live in the truth. And that way, when you're living in your truth, you will attract people to you who like you for who you are, not for who you portray yourself as. The fake image of yourself. I don't have any fake images. I have no intention of faking anything. Anything that I'm saying, anything that I'm doing, anything that I am, it's 100% authentic. It's always been. I've never been interested in having a mask, acting for the sake of acting, acting a certain role or something. Everything that comes out of my me is coming out of my heart, pure heart, pure, just pure, pure thoughts. Maybe always it's not been so um, coherent or anything, but as of late as I've been doing meditations and whatnot, I've been finding the coherence. And actually the great thing is when the eclipse happened, I felt that the, the evil that's been in this world for so long, it's losing. It's losing and it's driven to a corner. And when you're driven to a corner, what options do you have? Are you gonna fight away from the corner or are you gonna get, get deeper into the corner? You have two options, fight or surrender. And the evil parasites of this world, they're not gonna surrender without fights. So they're driven to a corner now and Things will get worse before they get better, that's for sure. But things will get better eventually. Truth will always come out. Lies need censorship as a cover. Truth doesn't. Truth does not even burn in the fire. All those. Yeah. But truth will always come out. Eventually, someday, someday people will wake up to all, all that's going on. And then this world will be a much better place, much, much better place for each and every one of us. And Tom McDonald is actually doing a really good job with that. His God Mode video that I, I actually listened to, it's one of the best songs I've heard in a long while. 8 minutes and 25 seconds of pure rapid fire rapping. And the best thing about Tom McDonald is that he has never, ever, ever, ever sold out his soul. And he's crushing it. He's crushing it 100%. I used to respect Eminem, but that guy has sold out his soul. It's pretty sad. But... But, but, he has good inspiring songs, yeah, sure. For example, Not Afraid, it's one of the most personal songs for me. And in tomorrow's video, I will actually speak about the whole... I think tomorrow's video will be my time of, in the 2006 and 2010. And the video after that is gonna be me speaking how I pulled myself through that. But yeah, it's been a long video. I hope you watched it all. If you didn't, 
rewatch it. Or if you like this, rewatch it. And if you like this video, put up a like. Comment whatever you feel like commenting. And subscribe. Because there are more coming like this. And click the bell icon so you can get notified when a new video drops. And join King for Life. It's the best group that there is for personal development. Completely best. It's just, there's nothing better than that. Nothing. Nothing. Elliot Hulz is a really, really great man. He's doing really, really great work. I'm, I'm sharing things that I've learned for free. Maybe I, someday I could make this, make a living through this, but for now I'm sharing things for free. And I get no monetizing because, well, the things that I say are crazy conspiracy theories. So, but I don't see any other way than speaking out everything. Sure, I could always act like, yeah, yeah, everything is good in the world, just focus on yourself, but not speaking out about the evil in this world, it feels like... Mm, it feels like I'm acting if I'm not saying the things that are resonating with me, within me. But that's just me. Okay. All the best. Stay strong. God bless. And all glory to God. And I will see you in the next video. Until then, see ya.